slow ventricular tachycardia is ventricular tachycardia with rate less than typical hence it can be missed especially in those on pacemakers who already have a wide qrs rhythm in one case report the person presented with features of liver failure secondary to heart failure pacemaker analysis showed atrioventricular dissociation markedly higher ventricular rate compared to atrial rate with absence of ventricular stimulation it did not respond to eight biphasic shocks of 200 joules it was also unresponsive to amiodarone and lignocaine an earlier report of two cases highlighted the fact that a high index of suspicion for slow ventricular tachycardia is needed in patients on antiarrhythmic drugs they mentioned that ventricular tachycardia may be mistaken for supraventricular tachycardia with aberrant conduction with the possibility of incorrect diagnosis in as many as 30% of cases slow ventricular tachycardia is thought to be more common in those with implantable cardioverter defibrillator than in general population anti arrhythmic agents like amiodarone and beta blockers may lower the rate of any breakthrough ventricular tachycardia to rates as low as 100 to 120 beats per minute an international multi center prospective randomized study assessed the incidence and clinical relevance of slow ventricular tachycardia in those with implantable cardioverter defibrillator the study had 374 patients without prior history of slow vt with rate less than 148 beats per minute implanted with dual chamber icd three zone detection configuration was with slow vt zone 101 to 148 beats per minute conventional vt zone with rate above 148 beats per minute and a ventricular fibrillation zone treatment group had 183 patients with therapy activated in the slow vd zone and the monitoring group had 191 patients with no therapy in slow vt zone during a 11 month follow up 181 slow vts were documented in 54 patients in the monitoring group in the treatment group 250 slow vts were documented in 60 patients 245 episodes were treated with anti tachycardia pacing with a success rate of 89.8% five episodes decelerated spontaneously shock was delivered in two patients with atp failure in those patients in whom shock delivery in slow vt zone was not programmed some episodes terminated spontaneously while some progressed to conventional vt zone and got treated quality of life score was not different between the groups overall the study reported 30.4% incidence of slow vt in icd recipients without a prior history of symptomatic or ecg documented slow vt another study evaluated the clinical relevance of slow vt in symptomatic heart failure patients with primary prophylactic icd indication with or without concomitant cardiac resynchronization therapy devices were programmed to an additional monitor zone for slow vts at 130 to 186 beats per minute 200 patients were followed up for a mean period of 509 days 137 were in new york heart association functional class 3 75 patients were on crt and 124 had ischemic cardiomyopathy only 12 patients had slow vt though there were 473 episodes of vt in 36 patients and 131 episodes of ventricular fibrillation in 30 patients no patient with slow vt had syncope palpitation or decompensation leading to hospitalization first set of journal references 
second set of journal references thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates